Grand Rising wonderful souls and welcome to Bromwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. If you are an old one, welcome back my lovelies. Nice to see you. Um, thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. Thank you for your emails, emails of confirmation, emails sharing your stories and emails booking readings. My readings are open. There is a 48 to 72 hour turnaround time for my readings. However, if you do need something a little bit special, I do offer an emergency service which goes out within 12 to 24 hours. Now with that being said, there is still someone here and there going through the comment section, pretending to be me, pretending to be a light one, pretending to be a friend. If it says WhatsApp me, I am drawn to you. Any type of solicitation for donations or that they can get your love back. If there is a response from me with no highlighted black banner, no matter what is said, it is not me. They are not a friend, they are a scammer. Please block and report them kindly. Now the energy that I pick up on is fluid and timeless which means I can be picking up on past present or future or an amalgamation of all three so you've got to take what resonates and leave the rest if I say he she masculine feminine male or female please remember that we all hold these energies so this reading could be for you it could be for another light one the person you're thinking of divine counterpart or someone completely different now let's get straight into it now I got told there's something about a missing person's case or a missing child's case okay and it's either a cold case or a case that was never solved or it's still it's still in play or something along those lines okay and on the back we've got messiah and it says exaggerated belief that you are the only means through which a cause can succeed okay so there's somebody here who is either crying wolf that this child has gone missing and something else has happened and i had an ulterior motive or some someone's digging into this and getting very close and whoever whoever it is over here who is playing messiah an exaggerated belief that you are the only means through which a cause can, can look can succeed is trying to distract or deter whoever it is that's investigating this okay because you've got liberator upside down because they're part of it and it says here imposing your own tyranny over those you claim to liberate ignoring legitimate constraints now this for some reason and i don't know why i got that when i looked at her upside down she reminded me of a nun with you know the the head cloth that they wear so this could be a church this could be a monastery it could be a nunnery it could be something along those lines and you've got samaritan upside down on the back as well and it says and you've got healer on the back as well and in shadow attribute for samaritan it says exa exacting appreciation and recognition for the help you offer this person is doing it because they want to keep up the front that they are charitable, but they are involved in some way in a missing person or a missing child's case, okay? Because you've also got healer in reverse, which says taking advantage of those who need help, failing to care for oneself. Who is this horrid person? And look at this. It was for money. It was all to do with money. And some of my readings have been picking up a theme of like vulnerable souls be that children or people who have the, the potential for the Midas touch but not just in you know the financial sense which is what these people are seeing it as but as the potential to become ascendant masters to become high priests or high priestess become shamans become mystics to become seers to become light workers okay because it says here for Midas um, entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything to gold delight in sharing life riches whoever this person is that's gone missing and I heard no children or vulnerable souls and lots of them there's either a church a spiritual center something along those lines it could be a mosque a temple a synagogue that is at the center of this and they're the ones that are literally sending out these flyers saying this person is missing have you seen them we're so worried when they know where they are okay because you've also got destroyer intoxication with the with destructive power destroying others dreams or potential this is a very dangerous person or people or organization that do they they kind of prey on vulnerable souls for money for money Okay, and you've got femme fatale coming out, inappropriate use of sensuality, attractive attachment to money and power. This is coming back to some sort of trafficking, some sort of SEX trafficking. Okay, and you have got, I don't know why I'm getting like a preacher or a preacher's wife who are part of this 
shut the front door stop it because this side is it's got nothing on there because they're trying to hide themselves but look what came out stop and it says on here for the light attributes facilitates spiritual commitments serves as a channel of spiritual energy so this is what they are showing to the world that at the shadow attributes which is their actual true self is violates the trust of your spiritual community seduced by your own spiritual role they think that they're untouchable they think that they're untouchable because they wear this cloak this shield of being godly or being you know with allah or being of divine source oh my gosh tell me more tell me more tell me more and you've got poet and then you've got monk in reverse and poet says expresses soul insights in symbolic language now you also have here monk and nun in reverse and it says in the shadow attributes negative judgment of the physical world excess piety i don't know if somebody has wrote something down a speech a prayer a song okay there's something to do with a sermon here isn't there occur because the thing is as well you've got like those doves up there that is reminding me of like um why is it reminding me of the song um when doves cry but from romeo and juliet that old school 90s one with leonardo dicaprio and i can't remember the lady's name now when doves cry bim, 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 bim. there's something here with whoever it is that's getting up and because i keep yeah excess piety this person hides behind the facade of being so selfless to God, but they're overdoing it is what I'm hearing. They're overdoing it to the point. Pete, someone's noticed there was something that was actually said in either a poem or a sermon or something that was read out, you know, in the pews or in the synagogue or in the temple. And it's <clears throat> something that they said has caused um, focus or interest, I heard from a government official, okay, with them kind of looking at them as a person of interest. Because you've got child divine here, and it says innocence, purity, and redemption suggests a special connection with the divine. And it's about a specific child, isn't it? And I heard no all of them, but I'm looking at this kid, and there's something here. Tell me more about this, companion loyal tenacity and unselfish and, and unselfishness so why was i shown companion and then don juan spotlights your positive seductive qualities there's something that has been said about you or the person you're thinking of and your involvement with vulnerable children in a really gross way okay but something was Something was spotted by either a detective, an undercover detective, an investigator. Someone saw what was trying to be hidden, okay? Because you've got hedonist in reverse. Pursues pleasure to the detriment of health, indulges at the expense of others. There was definitely some sort of sermon or some sort of, it was some sort of like public speaking within a spiritual center or a spiritual building. And I'm not just going to say the church because it could be church, synagogue, synagogue, temple, it could be anything. But there was something here where a name was dropped or someone kind of like name dropped either. If you are, for example, a content creator, they may have name dropped your channel or they may have name dropped your Facebook shop. There's something here with attaching you to the forefront of what they are doing. And there is someone who either visited this spiritual building place that's what i'm going to call it they heard this or it was on replay why i had replay like someone filmed it and they realized that there's something that doesn't match up with it something that doesn't match up with what they've already collected information wise and there's definitely something that's being hidden because the thing is as well with this pursues pleasure to the detriment of health it's also talking about like sdis and you know unprotected sex and things like that and I put this over here. Someone here is definitely trying to say that you're not a healer, that you're a witch, rah, you know, demons, and all of that crap. But someone's seen through it. Because you've got on here, dilettante, 
delights in the arts without having to be a professional alerts you to the dangers of becoming superficial in your own pursuits so whoever it is that's keeping a watchful eye on this spiritual center circle i'm going to call them has also either kept an eye on you because there was at some point arrows pointing towards you and they're collect doing their job collecting information you know looking through your social media or looking through this or that or blah 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 and have realized it doesn't add up what you post or what you say or who you interact with does not add up to what they're saying over here so the focus has been turned back over here now they have either watched on replay a recording of a sermon or something along those lines or they were in that center they went over to that place to listen to what was being said and they've not only picked holes in what was said but they're questioning why there are holes in the first place if this person is so godly or, or, or of Allah or of divine source. You know, and they're realizing this person just likes to look like they are, but there's definitely something they are hiding. There's definitely something they're hiding. Especially when it comes to the case of these missing children, okay? Because you've got judge and companion coming out. And it says on here for judge, offering only destructive criticism, misusing business, legal or criminal authority. There's something that, that this investigator is now looking into, okay, when it comes to legal things. Because you can't, as much as you go on a hunch, you know, you still have to have evidence to back it up. This person is dot, you know, dotting these I's now and kind of um, connecting these dots. There's something here that they have. That can take these people down because you've also got companion here and it says loyal tenacity and unselfishness whoever it is that's following them is good at their job and is has a good moral compass this person cannot be bought because this judge was upside down i don't know if someone tried to buy them and i heard yes they're not having it they're literally not having it well there you go look you've got prostitute here and guide this person over here definitely can be bought and they were trying to hush hush whoever this person is up and trying to hush you or the person you're thinking of up because whatever it is that you're investigating right now is uncovering some truths about this circle or this spiritual whoever they are, you know, with the priest coming out that they don't want shown because they're, whoever these children or vulnerable souls are, as they're going missing, you have these people here volunteering let's all hold hands and walk through the forest and have a look for this person and oh me oh my we you know we'll pray to god or we'll pray to allah or we'll do this or we'll do that when they fall know they fall well know that they are involved in either these children's demise in their kidnap in them going missing because you've also got prostitute here and it says places material considerations and security above self-empowerment okay this is coming back to like child sex trafficking or vulnerable souls sex trafficking because you've got guide in reverse places financial gain and control over imparting spiritual insight okay this person will quite happily just you know have someone else write their sermon or write something else and they'll have it on a teleprompter they don't care they are not in tune that way it's about money for them you've also got queen and then you've got god upside down and queen in reverse says becomes arrogant when authority is challenged controlling and demanding this for some reason is giving me the wife of the pastor or the wife of a clergyman or you know the wife of whoever it is that's the head of this spiritual circle this person may have been interrogated or questioned or something and they didn't like it and got very very defensive because you've got god in reverse and it says um, despotism and cruelty using power to control people this is cult vibes man an angel upside down they are not connected to anything high vibrational and it says acting innocent or angelic to mislead others falsely claiming to be in touch with angelic guidance and that one is quiet because they're masking themselves and i heard biding their time right, now what i would like to know is a little bit more about this missing missing person let's see if we can narrow it down to let's say one for now and i had no two okay so tell me about these two missing people wow i heard 1979 and now or 1989 that is either this may either be the year they were born or the year they went missing 
I heard missing. And I heard there's so many others that correspond to those two. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. Six of Cups. So this is to do with children. And this is also going down memory, memory lane. So there may be some cold cases. There may be, you know, certain children or vulnerable people that went missing, um, you know, late 70s to late 80s. And there's been an accumulation after that. And they're also cold cases. And they also have very similar MOs. But there's something about these two that link all the rest of them together. And there's an urge, especially if there's investigators watching or people who are curious, to be looking into this or to be asking their guides to show them signs and synchronicities if that is something they should be doing. Because the Six of Cups is also about going down memory lane. But you can see it's about children. Now you've got the Devil card in reverse. This is telling me that someone ran away because you know what? At the start, when I was first channeling this reading, I got the energy of someone running away. And then I was told, no, they're missing. So I don't know if when this child or children or these two that are, you know, the crux of where this investigation will blow wide open, were told, don't worry, they've probably just run away when really they hadn't. Okay. Queen of Swords. If I place this one over here with places financial gain and control over imparting spiritual insight. I don't know if somebody um, from the congregation that may have been one of their children or, you know, a vulnerable soul. And they went there and they were told, oh, don't worry about it. Listen to me. We'll give you advice because I am a spiritual leader. No, no, no. They've just run away. They'll come back to you. I, I heard, no, they were told to forget about it because their kids just run away. Now you've also got the King of Cups in reverse. This person did not care in any way, shape or form and Two of Wands. Yeah, and they, ah. One of these kids may have actually run away. And what I mean is like, they may have run away from home because you get to a certain age. I remember one of my sisters going, I'm gonna run away and getting a, you know, the broomstick and taking a hanky and putting a teddy in there with a chocolate bear, putting it on her arm, and then walking down to the corner shop, which is a literally two seconds with my mum and dad walking behind her, hiding in the shadows, and then her getting to the shops, turning around and coming straight back again. And she was like, what, 10? Kids go through those phases. I'm not saying that they had an unhappy home life. However, one of these children may have actually run away, and that's how they picked them up. And maybe the police didn't take them serious at the time because they the child had run away. And look at that. And you've got temperance coming out. So I don't know if the parents were really angry at the time because it wasn't looked into or they felt like not enough focus was put on this. And this may be noted in their case files as well. And you've got the magician and you've got the seven of cups, but something was covered up. Something was purposely covered up. The magician is about magic, but excuse me, it's also about having all the resources that you need. So they had the resources to find this kid, but for some reason it was covered up, okay? For some reason it was covered up. Why was it covered up? Because hmm. this goes higher. This goes higher. Okay, justice is about the court system, but it's who it is that kind of puppeteers, the court system above them. This goes higher. Oh my gosh, look, you've got tower here. And there is no one, I suppose, back then who had the authority to question this because doing so would mean losing your job. It would mean you going missing. There's something very dodgy going on here. But you've got the, the Five of Cups to the Eight of Wands. Something's about to come to light that's going to be very, very, very beneficial for those who lost their children or their vulnerable souls. There's something, because I keep hearing a settlement okay there's some sort of settlement coming out i place this one here and this comes down to whoever it is who's quietly investigating this whoever it is that's quietly investigating it keep doing so keep doing so because right now this may as much as this may have happened in the past there's something about it coming into present time this has been going on for a long time because you've got the death card in reverse which is about you know not wanting something to end keeping it going keeping that cycle going and you've got the five of pentacles because it's still very beneficial for these people over here okay, i want to keep this one super short is there anything else that i need to know why did i hear look into orphanages 
there's something here about um or children who were taken from orphanages when give me a number what's the most relevant because i keep hearing from 79 upwards there are two that kind of those two if they are focused on it will show links to um an orphanage i don't know if a kid ran away and was had been in and out of orphanages so it may have been a foster a foster family or an adoptive family and this kid had been fostered quite a few times and then they ran away and this is the reason why people weren't looking for him or her and i keep wanting to say him i don't know why i'm getting so quiet it's almost like i, I feel like it's in hush tones but this four of wands is telling me also that for some reason i got a foster home or an orphanage and to look into from 1979 or 80s if there are you know those who are investigating this and i'm talking about government investigating this there's an encouragement for them to start looking into orphanages from that time upwards within specific areas that resonate for them because it will show certain children being sent to the same family or the same family with the same surname or something like that and it's going to link to this church in some way their name something to do with their name because so you've got the queen of cups this is definitely well this is like a foster house this is a foster house how does this link into any light ones please and thank you how's this link in hanged man something you're doing is removing blocks it's removing an illusion what are they doing oh you are stopping them from being able to continue to take and it's freeing it's freeing information is what i'm hearing look at that because they were spending money they were spending a lot of money to bring in towers and you've also got the hermit in reverse they were going out of their way to find vulnerable souls who were already overburdened burdened or stressed and asking them to kind of invest in why don't you come to this this church or this orphanage or this foster home okay but it wasn't on the face of it they hid this as being a really good investment why don't you come and stay here and i heard this on a soup kitchen of some sort but once they got there it was almost like um you don't have to worry about dis being disempowered you can surrender that because you'll be looked after but it was a trap okay it was a massive deception for each person vulnerable soul child because he got king of wands okay tell me why i got the king of wands to the world card <sighs> something about being sold is what i'm getting they moved very quickly to move them to disempower them to make sure that they had no one around them that would support them and kept it very very quiet why am i hearing going to russia going to russia or china okay yeah definitely russia or china they were moved to russia or, or china and that new beginning they were told they were going to get was a lie okay but this is also unaliving for me because it brought them in a lot a lot of fortune wow but you've also got here the nine of swords to the six of wands it's continued anxiety these souls were continuously in oppression now, what is it that these light ones are doing? You're showing them up. You're showing them up for being callous. How? I want to know how. Let me get this one out. How? Ten of Swords. Benefit, profit, temporary gain, improvement, passing success, temporary favour, monetary advantage. You're seeing the bullshit for what it is. And whether that's you personally investigating things like this or you investigating your own trauma, your own, you know, shadow, there's something here with that domino effect of the more you heal yourself and light yourself up, the more light is being shone on things that have been done in the dark, whether or not you're connected to it. Because you've also got eight of cups. Yeah. Effort continued until full success is attained. Festivity, joy, gaiety, feasting, pleasure and holidays. For some reason, I don't know who it is that has been looking into this or watches like um, true crime or something along those lines and something's clicking for a person with the same signs and synchronicities coming up, whether that's just on TV, whether that's on their news feed, you know, whether that is on social media. Follow the white rabbit down that hole. 
Okay. What do I, what's the light wants me to know? We've got five of swords to the four of swords, okay? And trickery. This person over here is aware. They are fully aware. They know. Because with the five of swords here, okay, this is about psychic attack. And especially of sword, the four of swords, because it's repose, it's replenishment, it's solitude. This is about dream state, because you've also got the moon card here with trickery, okay? And the four card. They want you to stop investigating what you are. They want you to stop investigating what you are. So they may be trying to invade dream state. So you've got page of cups here. And it says deviation. Sub, sus, I, can't, suscept, I can't say the word. Susceptibility. There you go. Temporary distraction, seduction, a flatterer, over-dependence on loved ones. They're trying to distract you from whatever it is that your dreams are telling you or whatever your int intuition is telling you, especially about what's happening around you, whether that's your children, your fur babies, your plants, or how you feel, especially in your solar plexus, okay? Because the more you're healing and the more you're investigating yourself, for some reason it's opening up this door for them to be looked at as well, okay? Because you've got here, this is to do with a police officer. Why is a police officer in here? one of the police officers over here something going back to 1979 purposely ignored the signs because he already know, knew or she already knew and I heard he he already knew and I heard was paid off because it says cruelty conflict selfishness sadism a dangerous or wicked person one who causes sadness and perversity this person already knew as it says imposter under here an imposter revealed that unforeseen illness is also possible powerlessness in the face of stronger forces lack of preparation this person already knew this person may have been helping them what a piece of shite sorry that that person i will judge you you don't do that to vulnerable souls because you've got two of ones here and then you've got the ace of ones the beginning, fortune, enterprise, birth of a child, beginning of a meaningful experience, an adventure, two of wands, mature individual, ruler, attainment of goals and needs, boldness, courage and undertakings, a dominant personality, melancholy in the, the midst of worldly riches. You have a police officer who was working with this spiritual center to take children, and especially like lost souls, ones who had run away from home, from a foster um a foster home or orphanage or something along those lines so that they could be um, introduced into SEX trafficking or something along, along those lines. That is horrid, horrid, horrid. Now, how would you like a light one to continue so this gets exposed? What would you like them to do? Please and thank you. Continue to be yourself, continue to do your prayers, your affirmations to return to sender, to ground, because doing so brings in delays, it brings in fr frustrations, it brings in failure for them to face facts. You know, it brings in, especially with theft and deep worry, alienation of affection. It's literally sending back all of the grotesque energy that they have been sending, and this is why they're sending it towards you as well, because you've got page of coins to the king of wands. This is why they want you to stop just being yourself. You've got deep, deep concentration and application, study, scholarship, reflection, respect for knowledge, desire for learning and new ideas, a do-gooder and bearer of good news. Keep doing what you're doing because the more that you dig, dig into yourself, into you know your mother's bloodline, your father's bloodline, past karmic debts, how to break those generational curses, those chains, the more you're doing that and you're rising and ascending, the more that the, the planet itself, the crystalline grid, is rising and ascending from 3D to 5D. And as, as that happens, those who are hidden in darkness, in negativity and evil, are being exposed for who they are. Because you've got over here the king of wands, severity, austerity, somewhat excessive and exaggerated ideas, dog, dogmatism, deliberateness and intolerance. This person needs to be outed. This whole community needs to be outed. Keep being you. Seriously, keep being you. Anything else that would like to come out? Let's have a look. Yeah. All for money, corruption, using any means to achieve the desired end, vice, avarice, unfaithfulness, a vicious man and peril. And then you've got over here... Prosperity without happiness, misused wealth, wasted money, corruption by money, miserliness, greed and fool's gold. 
this person will do anything for money this this community over here will do anything for money five of coins material trouble the more you stand up in your authentic light the more they're losing the more they're losing their finances the more they're losing what they see as their fortress and their foundations okay because it says loss of job emotional confusion causes monetary problems i think i might leave it there i'm gonna have a look quickly over here what do we need to be looking at what do they need to know okay so we have here taurus now is the time for focusing on finances and practical matters so now is the time to be looking at money manifestations at affirmations <coughs> excuse me the driest throat ever you've also got remain sensitive to others to avoid confrontation so there's something here to do with money now they may be you know whoever this is playing in the background might be trying to affect your money especially as we go through mercury retrograde and you're being told to be just be zen okay because the more that you are in gratitude the more you are aligning with the universe to bring more of that in you've also got new moon you've got moon in gemini stress may be an issue during this time of course it will it's mercury retrograde you know come on now but you've also got scorpio negative attitudes and fiery arguments my throat is so dry are possible at this time channel your energies into positive physical activities like decorating or gardening all right i'm going to leave it there i hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know if you are new to my channel and this resonated and you like what you heard i'd love for you to hit on the like the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my lovely content and if you are a returning subscriber as always i love you guys thank you so much for being here anyone that feels moved to leave a donation is never expected but always truly appreciated because it means i can put more time more love and more cards into this channel and i'm looking for a personal reading all of my information is in the description box down below just go to the second paragraph down and look for the row of blue arrows pointing up i have two emails there i usually get back within about 48 to 72 hours if you don't hear from me by chance just send me a prompt email and it'll put your email to the top of the list with that being said i hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon evening or night i'll see you in the next one bye